Hi, I'm Kevin from Brightside Dental. Welcome to episode 33 of BSTV. Um, the subject was recently raised with me about the effects of alcohol on your teeth. So uh, that's what I'm going to be speaking about today. So um, mo most people are aware that um, sugary things in drinks um, can lead to tooth decay and uh, cause cavities needing fillings and other treatment. Um, but also what may be less commonly known is that um, most alcoholic drinks are acidic to um, differing extents and um, that can cause a different problem called acid erosion of the teeth and when that happens that can cause the um, outer layer, the enamel of the teeth to wear away um, and then that can have various impacts. So one, it can affect how the teeth look cosmetically um, because they can look smaller, they become thinner so they look darker as well and then over time they can become uh, quite sensitive and painful as well. So um, we have different levels of pH in our body, in our mouth and the neutral level is uh, looked at as a um, score of seven. So to give you indication with um, various drinks and so forth, so anything that's below about five, five and a half pH will start causing damage to the teeth. So um, to put it in context and some sort of idea, um, wine has a pH of about two to four, depending on type of wine. So it's very acidic, can cause a lot of erosion. Um, the pH of beer is about four to five. Um, one that you may not think, which uh, often may be put into drinks it, with uh, sparkling mineral water, is around three and a half. And if you have a gin and tonic, that's uh, 2.2. Um, and that's actually even more acidic than Coke, which is 2.7. So, so it's really acidic. So um, by having um, various um, acidic alcoholic drinks and especially if you're out for an evening or something it's quite likely you may be sipping on the drink for quite a long time which then can cause more damage so um, there are various things that you can do to help protect your teeth better um, one would be to stick to water not to have alcohol but for many people that's probably a no-no and um, it's a little bit of a boring option so if, if you are going to be drinking um, then try and limit the frequency um, of intake of the drink. So the, the worst thing is the more you're sipping on a drink or drinks over a long period of time, it will continue keeping the acid levels high in your mouth, which then attack your teeth. So where possible, try and have drinks in a short frequency. Um, another thing that can help is if you have plenty of water in between the alcohol, one, um, it will reduce the acid levels but also possibly less likely to get um, hangover as a, a result as well. Um, an another thing that can be done is if you uh, drink with a straw rather than a uh, glass or bottle then some it possibly can be less damaging to your teeth because the drink is going straight back uh, to the back of your mouth rather than hitting the teeth directly as well. Um, another thing that could help is to chew sugar-free gum in between drinks. The gum helps take away the acid levels faster. It won't stop damage completely, but it reduces the acid level and it also stimulates saliva production, which is protective to the teeth. Um, if, if you're going to have some food as well while you're drinking, um, non-sugary foods, but crunchy foods like nuts, vegetables, things like that, also um, can help stimulate saliva, protect the teeth as well. Um, another thing that you can do is if, um, if you do suffer from erosion, then um, you can use a, a specific uh, toothpaste that can help protect your teeth better. Again, it won't take the problem away, but it, it could um, reduce the problem. And another uh, final tip is if you are drinking, same with eating as well, don't brush your teeth for about half an hour after having a drink because at that time your teeth are softer and by brushing it could actually cause them to wear down further. Thanks very much for watching and join me next time for more um, tips and advice on improving your oral health and improving your smile along with practice news. So um, it's just the start of Wimbledon now so um, if you are having a PIMS just 
consider your teeth before having a second or third one. Thank you.